Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shikimori is not just a cutie episode number three reaction. Okay, the previous episode. Um, we get to see Shikimori and you uh, both of them having like different I think uh, Shikimori had volleyball while you had uh, soccer. Yeah, uh, both of them had like different uh, like, you know uh, sports classes in uh in the school and then they the timings like, you know, they wanted to like cheer each other you know and go and support each other but the timings were kind of overlapping but still you know it was kind of possible shikimori was there for you at the beginning and later on you kind of joined shikimori's um you know in the in the gymnasium he kind of joined there to cheer up uh <clears throat> shikimori as well like you know you joined there so as always you is unlucky <laughs> and he like you know like he was kind of struggling with soccer but when she goes he goes to the uh, gymnasium and uh, like you know shikimori we could see shikimori is like you know playing the game she was the, her team was losing because the other team had like the best player i think her name was kamiya and after like you know you cheering for like one second shikimori is like all right let's unleash my power <laughs> and they won by the end of it and that made her like you know popular her and neko as well both of them got very popular people started coming and just like you know asking for them and everything so <laughs> so you kind of got a little bit lonely by the end of it and uh, uh inuzuka kind of hanged around with him and kind of kept saving him from the different a disaster that was falling on him which usually shikimori does but shikimori is kind of busy with the other people so you know like you by the end of it you thinks like oh like you know let her like you know she's popular now i should not intrude in her space and he tries to go away but shikimori comes and saves him again and she also says like yeah i was also a little bit you know <laughs> like you know lonely as well and yeah by the end of it everything works out pretty well uh and uh, yeah that was a cute episode so let's see what this episode brings this is episode number three of uh, Shikimo is not just a cutie, so yeah, let's start. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> what is that? Movie ticket? Yes. <laughs> She's... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Shikimo is just looking at that. <laughs> She's just... <laughs> uh... There you go. <laughs> oh, fast. That was fast. God. Hmm. 
All right, let's go. Misfortune followed by sunshine. Oh, that's an interesting title. Oh, he probably faced a lot of problems. Ah, uh, yeah. So this time, oh, oh my God. Whole month's allowance. <laughs> All right, bring an umbrella, bring a spare, whatever. <laughs> yeah. There you go, umbrella. Three umbrellas, okay. Okay, you should have made it like metal chains or something. Oh my god, he's going to bring a whole luggage. <laughs> It's as if they're going hiking or something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Don't injure yourself. Ah, she's also. Oh my god, she's like, which makeup should I use? Classic dresses. <laughs> oh, that looks really good. Wow, fancy. Wow, everything looks so good on her. My god. Damn. Oh, it's like, brother? Damn, it's our brother is also good looking. What the hell? <laughs> Yo. Uh, what kind of friend? Oh, older brother. Okay. Damn, he looks like some kind of a main character in some anime. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my, <laughs> it's usual. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, look. The way he's crossing the road is freaking me out. Alright, which one did she wear? Oh, this is a completely new one. Probably like one hour early, she's just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> hmm okay oh this is the first time okay <laughs> Oh, is this like playing this in his head or something? Like he's saying this is the first time it will be. Yeah, he's he's thinking about it. <laughs> Did we miss the station? Oh no, okay, never mind. <laughs> Too excited. Most old cinemas. Damn, what the?
Yeah, okay. With you the seventh day, beans of soul. Arnold. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, she can. Yeah, she can say that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, her preference. <laughs> yeah, which one? Okay, I wonder which one she'll pick. Oh. Oh! I opened the door and found a smiling clown. It's a horror show, okay. Okay. People do traumatized. I think he's probably Oh okay. But he's sweating. I don't think so. It's she just said that He's probably bad with horror. <laughs> Yo what the hell? God, <laughs> these references. I don't think so. Yeah, that's definitely not happening. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right. It starts. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> No person, like the whole town is empty. Wow. Okay, definitely. Okay, great. Um. Dude, what? All right, calm down, calm down. Oh my God, he is. He is just. <laughs> that face. <laughs> He's even more scared than the boy inside the movie. Wow, okay. <laughs> no, she's not. Oh no. Nah, nah. He he wanted. He wanted her to choose. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that looks good. Oh my god. One thousand eight hundred yen. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. For well, that little thing. <coughs> oh. oh. 
I hope it does not. It is still there. It has not fallen. Oh my god. Is it, did he leave it somewhere or something? Yeah. I just said it. A metal chain, you know? I just said it. Hmm. Now, nah, here's the thing, like, you know, like, her going... Oh! Wait, he can borrow money from them. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's even better. Okay, that's even better. <laughs> wow, oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> what the hell is with anime food? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Family resemblance. Yeah, she kicked a sign, metal sign, and broke it completely, so. <laughs> it's just feeding her. <laughs> Wait. Oh, we still don't know what what about her parents? Does she not live with her parents? We still don't know about that. Like, I don't think they said anything about that. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it's fast. He just went and came back. The way she talks is kind of slow and what can I say? She reminds me of that girl from Goblin Slayer. The way she talks is... <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, he is so... Oh my god. Yeah. 
<laughs> what the hell? Yo! He's clumsy. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Not a flaw. Ah, uh, true, you know, like, I agree. Yeah, that's true. That's a very. Because he himself faces hardships, he can understand other people's hardships. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh no Oh <laughs> What the? What the hell is happening here? What? <laughs> is she crying? <laughs> Damn! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he was probably try tired with all the things. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Friendship. Okay. Hmm. Next month. Okay. Wow, that was a good episode. Now, this is one thing that I also thought, you know, like, I don't know if there will be any kind of explanation in the future why he's so unlucky. But I feel like one of the reasons why he's so unlucky is probably because I don't know. Like, no that, that's a really weird reason like it, it's understandable like you know as shikimori said that he is so kind because he's unlucky like he's unlucky because that's why he he actually understands people's hardships and understanding people's hardships makes him kinder than anyone else and like i don't know like i feel like maybe this will be like a thing that will never be answered why he's unlucky
But if there's like an answer in the future we get, why he's so unlucky, it will probably be something related to his kindness. I don't know. Like, uh, like here's the thing. I don't know which one, but there was like a manga I read. Okay, is that it? Or is there something left? Okay, there's still something left. I'll talk about that later. Motoko who? Who's Motoko? Izumi Motoko. Wait, Motoko? Who's Motoko? Is that the mom? Because the, the dad's name was Akihisara or something like that? Wait a minute, who's Motoko? Um, just a sec. I think it's a, it's a mom's name, isn't it? You know what? Let me just check quickly. Motoko, there you go. It's a, it's a mom. Okay. Alright, so yeah, as I was saying, you know, like... Uh, there was like a manga I think I read. I don't remember which it is. But it had a very interesting premise. Uh, I, I, I've not read the full thing. I was like, you know, I kind of skimmed the first few chapters. The whole thing was that there was like a guy who was extremely guy or girl i don't remember unlucky it was either a guy or a girl who was extremely unlucky while there was like a girl or a guy like you know the, the other person the other main character was extremely lucky and you know i think it was the guy who was unlucky yes probably that and i think the guy realized later on why he was or, or the girl realized why he was unlucky it's because she is so lucky that's why he's unlucky Something like that. There was like a very interesting premise of that manga. I don't remember which manga it was, but it had like this type of a premise. So I don't know. Whenever I see like, you know, you like, you know, getting into these type of situations. Now, here's the thing, you know, like I always feel like, you know, I get reminded of that manga. So here's the thing. As I said, like, you know, if this anime later on actually goes in that direction where they actually explain why he's so unlucky. That will be kind of interesting. But I don't think they'll go that direction because this is a slice of life, uh, you know, manga and slash anime. Uh, so if we actually go in that direction where we get a reason why he's unlucky, it'll go in the more, what can I say, like supernatural direction or something like that. So I don't think that's going to happen. It'll probably be like a thing, a trait that he had that, oh, he's unlucky. And that's just it. Like and there won't be any thing. Now, one, there is one possible explanation of why he's that unlucky uh maybe because he is probably clumsy like his mom you know like we see his mom is extremely clumsy so it's probably that he's also clumsy because i we can see like you know a lot of these um unluckiness kind of is it's one of few of them are extremely like you know like we can see that yeah he's basically nothing you can do about that it's his luck basically his luck is very bad that's why a few things happen for example the signboard falling on him you know, nothing you can do about it uh but a few of them where he kind of trips and falls you know or like you know like looks at like you know, a crow like you know the, the crow is going it'll probably poop on him or something he tries to dodge it that the first episode we saw and he trips on like a thing and falls down these i feel like these are kind of because of his clumsiness and there's a small part of his clumsiness that actually is a factor behind that but a few of these, like, you know, unlucky things that happens, nothing you can do about it. For example, as I said, the, the signboard falling on top of him. Like, that's not obviously not because of his clumsiness. That's basically bad luck. So a few of them I can understand, maybe because he got his mom's clumsiness. That's why a few of them happens. He becomes extremely unlucky. But stuff like suddenly rain starts falling, these things are not because of that. So I guess that's like the explanation like you know like the what can i say like if you want an explanation this is the only explanation i can think of the reason behind his unluckiness other than that it's just that yeah he he's unlucky basically nothing you can do about it so okay so we start in this this episode with uh him getting you getting some tickets to a movie uh inuzuka gave it to him and he he goes to uh, Shikimori was extremely like you know hyped about it she was just looking at the tickets and all and he goes to her and he's like can will you go with me and she's like yes definitely it's like fast 
<laughs> it's so fast so then we see him getting ready and he's like oh a lot of things happened before you know whenever we go out weird stuff happens you know starts raining my wallet falls down <laughs> so i'll be ready with everything he has like three umbrellas now as i said like you know like uh, the three umbrellas it worked I, you could say there was no rain you know that worked but <laughs> i was saying you know like he should probably chain it down or something but <laughs> because like, like you know a string or what, what what was that a cloth clothing a, a rope or something it wouldn't work it would just tear off so I knew something was going to happen to the wallet and there you go in the end we see like you know his wallet still drops the the rope just got torn uh, but yeah he, he gets ready with everything like you know like all the stuff packs it in a bag gets ready and he kind of like it's so heavy he falls down <laughs> now like another thing we should uh, like you know notice here as soon as that sound comes both the mom and the dad rushes up which kind of gives us a hint that probably like you know stuff like this happened before where he was probably unlucky in his house as well and maybe got injured and as we got to know you know like a truck came and crashed to his house and the mom was saying i'm not even like you know surprised by these things now so that's probably why they like you know the mom and the dad are like completely paranoid like and as soon as they hear like a loud sound happening they rush up to see if something happened and you know like this it's kind of shows that how they are also very like you know afraid of something happening to him and like even in his house he's not safe like that type of a thing like like what the hell like a, like a truck comes and crashes into your house and he gets injured like damn like what type of luck is that like oh my god <laughs> all right so <clears throat> next we go to shikimori shikimori is trying to like you know trying different uh, outfits and everything and she is just getting ready and like i like and i have to say like you know she looks good in all the outfits like the first one where she was like you know kind of wearing like an overcoat and everything and then there was like one with a suit and everything everything looked really good on her and uh, now here's like you know the thing um all the clothes that she wore here were i really liked but <laughs> the one she wore on the date I was not a big fan of that dress i'll be honest here i feel like all the other dresses that she wore before were a lot better than that but that's just my like you know you could say taste or my choice <laughs> but yeah mm. anyways oh and here we get to see that you know she has a elder brother now oh my god his elder brother <laughs> her elder brother looks like some kind of <laughs> like otome games main character <laughs> you know like or some shoujo manga you know like you know like in shoujo manga you have uh, like the main lead and the female lead and then there's like a very handsome um like you know friend of the male lead he looks like that type of a character he looks like the friend of like the main hero of the sh of shoujo manga <laughs> you know oh my god so yeah he, he he seemed very concerned about you know shikimori not very but kind of concerned he was like where are you going this and that then he's like all right have fun and goes now one thing we still don't know which we kind of get a little bit of a hint later on i'm guessing she either like you know her parents are very busy and not at home at all either that or she doesn't live she and her brother doesn't live with her parents or like you know it's like a single parent maybe the dad and the dad is always out at work something like that either of these because she said something about like this being like uh something like this being the first time I ate how ho house cooking or something he she, she said so that kind of gives us a hint it's either of these you know like probably something like that we still don't know but I'm sure we'll get more information later on all right next we okay next we get uh to the day where uh you is out on the date and uh, the back snapped so he could not take it <laughs> yeah so he came outside and you know, meets shikimori and uh oh even within that time you know he kind of helped like a little kid uh who was lost or something yeah and like interesting thing here like you know all the how just like how all the bad lucks kind of gets attracted to him i feel like all the people who needs help also somehow like you know gather 
in front of him like you know kind of attracted to him you saw in episode one you know like he he finds this random old lady having trouble and he helps him her out here in this episode as well like a random child is lost like this is what i'm saying just like how unluckiness you know kind of uh, gathers around him and affects him like you know people who are who need help also kind of gather around him you could say or something like that and uh, yeah okay so anyways enough about that so he and shikimori meets they go like you know take a train and like you know goes and he was in his mind kind of thinking and like you know about what could happen on the date like you know? <laughs> and, like he was thinking about like and there was like a romantic scene going on on the screen and he was kind of fantasizing about that <laughs> about him and shikimori as well and uh, yeah okay we go to the movie theater and there was like a few movies going on and he's like which one do you want to watch he's like whatever you want to and he's like no i want you to choose this time all the time you choose what i want to watch <laughs> and uh, now here's the thing um i feel like shikimori like what can i say like you know like it's it's basically she she just wants to spend time with him even if this was not a movie and this was just a picnic he would have been fine with it and she really i feel like she really didn't care that much about which movie he watched she watched all that she cared about was watching it with him that's why she was not that like you know uh, what can i say like you know uh you know like interested in choosing a movie he, she was like oh you can choose whatever you want but here's the thing you know um this is this is kind of reminded me of that whole scene a thing where one of your mom asks you like oh what do you want to eat and you're like ah whatever you want to. <laughs> anything <laughs> and your mom is like just choose something like you know that's even more problematic if you don't choose anything and you, if you say that oh whatever you know you choose something i'll say like if i can make it or not and then like you know like you know we'll make a decision and don't <laughs> leave it up to me like you know this whole thing it reminded me of that so basically in, you know like um you was kind of like that he was like kind of in that mom's position he was like no you choose you know like <laughs> all the time you always put it on me and you like whatever i want we watch that movie so this time i want you to choose and uh, he i'm sure he also as he said like, you know i also want to know more about you that was also another reason why he wanted shikimori to choose the movie so shikimori is like all right fine and she's like chooses a horror movie you kind of freaks out seeing that and he's like oh my god i don't have any nice experiences watching horror movies on my own you know? and we get a little flashback of him getting freaked out whenever horror movies came in and he's like but maybe this will be different there'll be a lot more other people you know beside me shikimori san will be beside me as a theater so yeah maybe everything will be fine you know this is not me alone watching a horror movie but boy he was wrong <laughs> in a big screen and like surround sound <laughs> he was even more freaked out <laughs> and damn the <laughs> the movie uh, oh my god yeah it was not that terrifying but it was like you know kind of a little bit had that type of a vibe like that atmosphere and he is freaking out like you know for a moment i thought he was having a heart attack or something like the way he was clinging his chest i'm like what the hell is happening <laughs> we see he's basically scared that's it so he freaks out and shikimori probably realized that yeah this is what's happening so he she kind of helped him out by holding his hand and yeah like at the end of the movie they come out shikimori apologizes she's like oh well i just said i wanted to watch a horror movie maybe i shouldn't have done that and he's like no i wanted to watch that because you chose it and i wanted to know your choice so yeah that was nice and then they go to eat unfortunately the food looked fantastic but he lost his money oh my god like imagine losing your <laughs> monthly allowance damn that sucks <laughs> like surely <laughs> and this happens to him like you know like i feel like m maximum times oh my god i can't imagine someone living his life like imagine the horrors you know of 
like living such an unlucky life i, I can't even imagine how he's able to you know, and, and that's why you know like that's why he, her mom his mom says in the end like that's why he's kind because he realizes hardships and what it feels like to be in them so all right then uh, okay they, they they're like going back depressed and he meets the mom and the dad and uh, here i thought okay maybe he could borrow some money from them but you know what well, the the parents uh, gave an even better idea they were like why don't you join us you know and we'll make a meal and uh, yeah they go back to their house and uh, there's a lot of food and everything you know like just ready <laughs> and oh my god the mom <laughs> i think the mom is clumsy yeah she she's just the gun just drops the tongs or forceps whatever you call them it falls <laughs> the fork jumps up and is directly towards him and shikimura just grabs it <laughs> and uh, yeah so basically his mom is clumsy and he's unlucky that's that's a very bad combination i feel like his mom is clumsy and he's unlucky my god that's a very concerning combina combination <laughs> but yeah okay um so the mom and the dad is kind of impressed <laughs> with shikimori <laughs> and uh okay so yeah they, they have their meal and everything they're like kind of conversing shikimori uh like it says like oh i'm also embarrassed come like you know like yeah look like, since i'm here in your like you know house i'm also a little bit you know kind of fidgety and nervous <laughs> well the dad was out like you know in the washroom uh, like and they kind of had this conversation the dad comes back and uh, yeah shikimori goes to help the mom so here's where like you know the whole thing starts like you know like an interesting you kind know, of conversation happens here uh okay uh you goes to sleep and shikimori and the mom starts talking so interesting conversation here uh first the mom says that uh oh like you know like thanks for being with him and then she says that uh like you know i want to ask you something Know, and he she talks about how like in an elementary school whenever like you know she he went out he came back with bruises and uh, you know like obviously because he was unlucky and uh, but even though that happened he had this big smile on his face all the time and he like you know like even though like you know he has like bandages and wounds all over his body you know when he's going out and when the mom says like oh like you know look like you know just keep an eye out on the cars and everything and uh, he is always like oh i'm fine mom you know uh, like you know i'll be okay you don't get hurt and just pats her on the head and <laughs> he just leaves like this is the thing you know like even though he himself is so much injured he is concerned about other people and like and the mom then says that he she realized that the reason behind that is because he himself is so much almost like you know almost all the time is like you know unfortunate that's why he is able to like you know realize people's hardships and be sympathetic towards them and kind towards them and like this reminds me of that whole thing of like you know the people for the people who are the saddest they like you know they they are the ones who like you know are the kindest or something like that you know like because they understand what other people's are going through similar thing to like you know what you could say like poverty as well like you know people who are poor you know they are the ones who has the biggest hearts because they understand what like you know poverty is what not having enough like you know what can i say food money actually is and that's why they are able to be more sympathetic towards others people because they know what it feels like and that's why they have the biggest hearts and this is the unfortunate what can i say like reality of yeah reality that like people who doesn't have much they're the kindest while people who have so much you know 
they like there are obviously exceptions i'm not saying like oh everyone's like that but majority of them you know they like you know they are not like that they don't have that much of a big heart and that's the irony here because like you know like people who are uh, what can i say like fortunate they aren't able to give that much that they can like you know like that they're capable of for example here he's unlucky but then that's why he's able to realize what other people's what misfortune and what other people's as hardships are like that's why he helps people so imagine what would have happened if he was not unlucky if he was extremely lucky you know like if he had the same kind of uh, like you know like character even if he was extremely lucky imagine how many people he could have helped you know and how much he could have done for everyone like that's the thing that's why i'm saying like the, this is ironical situation because people who can give they they are the ones who do not give that much while people who are not able to give much who don't have much for themselves since they realize the hardships they are the ones who give it the most so that's the thing that's what i'm trying to say here and uh, it's sad that like you know like he he's so kind but misfortune comes on top of him and it's as if like you know like he doesn't get rewarded for what he does and that's like the sad thing and uh, that's why the, the mom also says here like you know i hope you don't get tired of him which is also one thing that i don't know i am you know when, as soon as this anime started i always had this thing in my mind i always thought that like you know like i'm sure there's like you know people have their what do you call it thresholds like you know like what is going to happen if you know like shikimori's threshold of like you know like what can i say like of being ex like you know ac ac accepting all of this that breaks you know like i'm sure that's never going to happen because she herself said that oh I'll, that'll never happen but still like you know she is also human like this is the thing like you know like 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 i, I can't even blame anyone if like you know someone like who probably is like his what can i say like you know close friend or something like probably starts dating him or something and leaves him because he's so unlucky like we can't even blame that person because like it's a sad truth here like you know like that obviously like, whenever someone's going to get involved with him they're also going to get the unluckiness you know into them as well and that's why i'm sure the mom probably saw this happening multiple times and she herself was also concerned that's why she said that like i hope you don't get tired of this and uh, you know like the whole the, the whole threshold that i talked about you know like i hope that that threshold does not get toppled and you don't feel bothered by what's happening around him because he's very happy with you so if you decide to leave him you know he'll be devastated and that's what the mom was trying to say here and shikimo realized that very like you know like what her mom was trying to say and it's a normal thing to think about she's his mom you know like obviously she is going to be concerned about him that's why shikimori was like no you don't have to worry about it his nature is not a flaw and uh, and she said like i think him being unlucky is what makes him so kind because he's able to understand others pain and he she's like you don't have to worry i'll protect him now i feel like this is like the positive way of looking at this whole thing she's not saying that Oh, like, you know, even if I'm also, I also get unlucky, like, you know, being beside him, I'll be able to, like, you know, uh, what can I say, keep by, staying by his side, you know, like, I'll be able to tolerate that, you don't have to worry about it. She does not say that. She actually says that I'll protect him. So basically, she says that don't worry, wherever is going to come my way, I'll be able to overcome that. That's what she's saying, which is like one of the most positive mindset. And I feel like this is the mindset that is needed for someone who needs to be beside uh, you with obviously with you's uh, problems and he needs a person like shikimori who is like you know ready to protect him she's not ready to like you know like she it's not that she says that yeah i'll tolerate it she's like i'll protect him like she's like yeah i'll i'll, I'll go beyond it i'm not going to tolerate like you know the the um like you know, misfortune that's going to come to him i'm going to stop it that's what she's saying which is the best mindset i have to say and i feel like 
she is definitely the best for him for being by his side and <laughs> the mom was like oh i'm starting to wish you were my girl <laughs> girlfriend and dad's like <laughs> and that was just like kind of uh, passing comments after that <laughs> all right and then we also see later on like you know the dad and uh shikimuri also became good friends yeah they uh, shikimuri goes out and he's like oh i'm going to like you know uh like, you know kind of go and go go like you know go go with him, her uh part way to her house and uh yeah that's how it ends oh no then the next section we see them outside and uh, oh she when he asks him like what type of movie do you want to watch and he's like oh friendship movies and she's like all right next month we'll watch friendship movies okay and one thing i forgot to mention here like the whole section where uh, she says that oh this is the first time uh okay oh no not first time sorry it's been a long time since i had home cooking so yeah so that probably means as i said it's either that you know like the mom and the dad are always outside due to job either that or he's like you know he has like a single parent either mom or dad who is maybe extremely busy that's why they're always outside that's why you know they aren't able to have like homemade food or they don't live with their parents or something it's either of these you know so probably like that and probably the, the brother probably also doesn't cook just or a stakeout or something i'm guessing and shikimun also probably does something like that oh so, yeah that's why she said something like that like oh it's been a long time oh yeah and that's how it ends like really good episode so yeah this the, the final section of this episode was really interesting i loved that conversation that they had the mom and shikimori had and oh in the end we see like in the mom <laughs> sending messages to shikimori it's like it's like like what did she say like Oh, I've got a message. It's from Motoko-san. And she's written, why don't we go and learn... Why don't we go and learn how to make meat and potato together in a cooking class? <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's inviting him her to cooking classes now. <laughs> that's nice. So, yeah, that's how it ends. So, as I said, fantastic episode. The final section, the last section was really good. I loved that conversation. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that was a good one but yeah that's it thanks for watching this was my reaction to episode number three of chichi mori is not just a cutie if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of chichi mori is not just a cutie until then goodbye and have a nice day